Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. I hope you had a great Christmas. In today's uncut video, we're going to look at the changes made to Fido 2 authentication methods and Windows Hello for Business. Beginning January 2024, Microsoft Entry ID will now support device bound pass keys stored on computers and mobile devices as an authentication method, which is currently in public preview. This is in addition to the existing support for Fido 2 security keys. This enables your users to perform phishing resistant authentication using the devices that you already have existing within your organization. So let's navigate to the Fido 2 configuration pane. I'm logged in as admin at WCC Technical Pre-Sales. I have Global Administrator assigned to my account. You could, alternatively, you could have Security Administrator. On the left hand side, I want to scroll down to Protection and then select Authentication Methods. This will take me to the new Authentication Methods blade. If you're previously used to the legacy um, per user multi-factor authentication blade, you need to migrate by September the 30th, 2025 to the new Authentication Methods blade, which resides in Microsoft Entra ID. This will present us a list of our methods for authentication, including FIDO2 security key, as well as SMS, Microsoft Authenticator Wrap, and Temporary Access Pass, which we've covered in previous videos. We can see who is assigned the FIDO2 security key in terms of Microsoft 365 security groups, and we can also see the configuration in terms of is it enabled or is it not. It's currently set to no, which of course means it's not enabled. So if we were to select FIDO2 security key, we have an option to then assign this to a particular set of users, i.e. all users in this case, or we can select a specific Microsoft 365 security group. We've also got options to exclude uh, particular Microsoft 365 security groups as well. If we select configure, this will take us to the configuration pane, in which we've got a few options in terms of um, configuration of the FIDO2 security key itself, i.e. general, allow self-service uh, setup, which should remain set to yes, if set to no, you'll use won't be able to register for a FIDO key through the My Security Info pane, even if enabled by the authentication methods policy from the All Up Org settings uh, pane. The second option here we've got is Enforce Attestation, which by default is set to no. Setting to yes requires the FIDO security key metadata to be published and verified with the FIDO Alliance metadata service, and it also passes additional uh, Microsoft set of validation testings. We've got the key restriction policy, which enforces key restrictions, i.e. should be set to, to yes if you only want to, to allow or, or even if you want to disallow certain FIDO2 uh, security keys, which are identified by the authenticator attestation GUID, which is known as the AA GUID, globally unique identifier. You can additionally work with your security key provider to determine uh, the AA GUID of a device. If the key is already registered, you can find the um, unique identifier by viewing the authentication methods detail pane within the user profile. So we could select users on the left hand side, select all users. We can find a user. I'm going to click Adam Young in this um, example. And we can select authentication methods. And if the user was to register for the FIDO2 uh, security key, um, it will be listed here. We can um, switch back to the old view if you prefer, um, of which we can then uh, present the AA GUID. So let's 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 scroll back to um, let's navigate back to the authentication methods blade and go to the overview. So what is a device bound pass key? Okay. Well. This is a discoverable credential that is bound to a single authenticator. For example, the FIDO2 security key typically holds a device bound pass key as the credential cannot leave the device. It cannot, it's cryptographically binded to the device itself. Device bound pass keys have been previously referenced to a single device pass key. For this reason, the current FIDO2 security methods policy and Enter ID will be expanded to support the use of pass keys. So if your organization already uses FIDO2 security keys for phishing resistant authentication, yeah, you, you're already a step, uh, a, you know, you, you already step into the game. If your organization requires or prefers FIDO2 authentication using uh, physical security keys only, 
then please enforce uh, the key restrictions. So we can go into the FIDO2 security key and then press configure and we can enforce the key restrictions here and we can specify particular AA unique identifiers. And these can be provided by the, the, the provider of the key itself. You can use the key restriction policy to generally block or allow types of FIDO2 uh, keys. This is done based on the, the GUID as already covered. Most of this, the FIDO2 security keys have a unique GUID and they should be provided by the, the, the manufacturer itself. Alternatively, you can find the GUID via Graph API. Okay, So you can run uh, a get command um, using um, the HTTPS graph.microsoft.com uh, forward slash beta uh, forward slash users and then um, uh, run the uh, read write uh, directory commands against your organization and that will list the GUIDs assigned to the, the particular user accounts. Um, this is just a quick um, overview on FIDO2 security keys um, during the Christmas break. Um, we will start to commence um, a new series in the new year uh, once we're all up and running. Any questions in the meantime, please do let me know. Um, and thank you very much for your support um, in 2023. Thank you.